Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and let's continue our Android project. So at this point, uh, the project itself is done. I've started to look at the Android manifest for various uh, internal details. And now the next level, the next step is to actually create our production-ready file. So one of the best ways to do it is, again, in the Android Manifest file. So from your Package Explorer, you want to double-click AndroidManifest.xml. It brings up the, the file. And then you've got at the bottom, Exporting. To export the application for distribution, you have the following options. Use the Export Wizard to export it and sign an APK. Export an unsigned APK and sign it manually. The APK is basically the Android package, the, the actual file that your whole project becomes. All of these separate supporting files get compressed into one final .apk file, and that's what you'll be uploading to Google Play when this is all done. Uh, you need to sign the project, meaning that you are the legitimate creator of the project. You, your company, is responsible for the code etc. You vouch for it. That's signing. So I recommend using the export wizard uh, to do this. So I'm going to click use the export wizard. We get this export Android application project check. Performs a set of checks to make sure the application can be exported. This is the project I'm working on. No errors found. Excellent. If there were, we would get documentation and a little help on how to solve our issues. Next. Now we need to talk about signing our project. Again, this is like vouching for this application. If you've made more than one, we would use an existing key store. That is, if, you, if this is your second app that you've made, you would use an existing key store. This is our new project. This is our first time we're doing this. So we'll say create new key store. Where would you like to save your set of keys? I'm going to go Browse, and you can save this anywhere you want, of course. I'm going to go to the desktop, uh, maybe make a new folder and call it Android Keys. Open that up, and then um, choose a file name. We'll call it um, campos-android.keys or dash keys and save so this is where all of my my keys will go my my certificates and such uh, password you're creating a password here so uh, think of a good password it must be at least six characters long confirm it next so now we fill in a variety of details about who are we? Who are we that we are um, vouching for this app? So uh, a lot of this is self-explanatory, but some of it, if you're iffy about what it actually means, we've got this help file. You click the help, it'll load up and give you more information. As that loads up in my background, let's go through the list of items here. Um, alias, the name of the company, for example, I'll just call it Campos. Uh, a password goes here as well. Confirm that. How long is the validity of our certificate? Uh, 30 years is a good uh, length of time, first and last name, organizational unit. I'll put those both the same. Some of these are optional actually, but it'll let you know if there's a problem. Next. Destination and key certificate checks. Enter the destination for the APK file. Where would you like to save your final fully finished project? I'm going to select to the desktop. 
and it says it'll be called whatever you call your project.apk. Save. All right, so certificate expires in 30 years. It's going to get saved to the desktop. I've created the certificate. Click Finish. It's going to take all of the pieces of our project, our graphics, our text, our code, our CSS, our JavaScript, everything. And it's going to compress it down and optimize it and then kick out a .apk file to the desktop. So if I minimize, go to my desktop, there's my file, the campos.app.apk. It is a 2.36 megabyte file, pretty compact. And this is what I'm going to be uploading to the Google Play Store or the Amazon App Store. And now I can start to publish my app for real. Real people can download it. I can make money off of it and such. Come back for the next video. We'll see how that's done.